What's up guys? It's Michael the Jew and this is something a bit different I'm doing. Um this is a new tutorial for how to code in um TI Basic gets the programming language used by the Texas instrument calculators and it's kinda of fun, it's just more of a fun tutorial for anybody who wants to learn. You know, um I since I am using emulator, I kinda of did some nifty here. Just put some images on a loop. They're going really fast, but whatever. Hopefully it's not too distracting. If it's really bad, I'll probably just remake the episode. They're not that long. But yeah, so let's get into it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to create a file. To do that, you go to Program. It's PRGM. Go over to New, Enter, and let's make the name. Let's make the name Program. I know, I'm really creative. Thank you, guys. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go over in this is you have two different, most of your main commands you'll be using are under program. The other ones, so you have two really main types. At the beginning of every one, depending on what type of it it's going to be, you're either going to want to use clear home, clear table, or if you press second and then program, clear draw. What these does is it clear clear home clears everything on the screen, so your screen is completely blank. Clear draw. If you press the trace button, oops, you do not want to press trace. You just want to press second mode. It opens up this little thing. The trace button is the um is where you got the like uh, where you can draw images, and then the table is under here window second window and window no not window y equals uh, you can make tables that will end up being graphed that's where table is right there and clear table just clears that all right so now let's just get into it so we're going to go back to our program we're going to edit it for our first ones we're going to be using clear home to get to clear home you press the program button go to io or no you don't go to io you go straight down and it should be around I don't know, maybe you do good IO, my bad. IO stands for input output, my bad, guys. Um, so IO stands for input output. Um, so now you're going to want to create, so now you have the clear home, so it says everything here is going to be cleared. What we're going to be doing in this one is we're going to be just going over how to display information using the display. And so let's actually type it. So second, alpha, what do you want to type? Let's make it so it says, so let's make it, so we're going to make so it can display information. And we're gonna make it so. Um, so we're gonna type hi what. Space is. Um, we're gonna make it so it displays information. And then now you see how this is. I don't. I wanted to like go make a new line. And so for that, I'm just gonna put a alpha, one of the, and a quotations, a comma, and another quotation what is and then it's going to say your space name there you go so now it's going to ask people for their name and now to get a question mark you're going to press second catalog all the way up to the top press the up arrow it goes to the bottom and there's your question mark okay guys so now that we have it asking what's your name now we need to make it so that the person can write their name in. And to do that, you're going to want to input. You're going to use the input command. The input command is under program, then input slash output. You press enter, input. Now you need the input to store as a variable. Now when you're asking for things that are going to be numbers, you can just use any random letter as a variable. But since we're going to be asking for a string, you're going to want a string is a is multiple letters in a variable. So you're going to want to use a string as your variable and just use string one so now it's gonna input whatever the person types into string one and so and then we're gonna just gonna do and then we're gonna do display and then we're gonna say oops second alpha then you're gonna put O actually you're gonna wanna put quotation marks O comma Oops, that's not a comma. Hi. And then you're going to put hi. And then their name. 
And so to make it so it outputs their name, you just put the alpha that thingy ending the quotation marks and then you put a comma saying okay next line and then you just go to variables go down to string which is seven and press one for string one and so now let's start a program okay hi what is your name second alpha michael my c h a e l michael oh hi michael see so that might not seem like that much but you just programmed on a calculator so that's swag right there anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching this episode and see you guys next time where let's go look we're gonna go over we are gonna next time we are gonna go over um making a menu no, we're not. We're going to go over. We're probably going to go over these. Um.